Hi everyone, this is Ronnie Boom, and this is going to be a Factions tutorial on how to use Live Map and how to create um, a pretty successful raid. Oh, look at that. Free leather. So, we're in spawn, and there are these portals over in the southwest quadrant, and they can send you to pretty much anywhere on the base. But how do you know where you're going? Well, Faction Server uses something called Live Map. And I'll show you what that is over here. I keep it open in a Google Chrome browser, and it allows you to look at the world from a top-down view um, in real time. And it actually shows players. So any player that's showing up on this live map, it's showing their current location on the map, as well as the entire map. So right now, I'm down here. Um, maybe I can go to... It looks like South 3 has a character named Sunshine B. South 3. And, oh look, there she is. I see her nameplate through the thing. Um, so using MCMMO, I'll summon a dog, because I'd like to do that before all my PvP. And actually, I would feel pretty bad um, killing this girl, because she didn't look like she had anything, and she got scared when she saw me. So scared, in fact, that it looks like she combat logged. Um, it's technically not against the rules because I'm supposed to be able to hit her first. Um, but <laughs> to discourage it, I'm just going to make her a little hut. Hopefully she has her brightness settings on really low and she won't be able to see what she's doing. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to encase her in, in dirt just to, just to be a little nuisance. Um, uh, and that's mostly just because I really don't like combat loggers. I just happen to have a bunch of dirt on me. And she had a shovel in her hand, so she'll be able to get, get out of this easily. But I just I just think it's kind of funny. A funny way to troll her. If I had wood or, or even cobble, cobble would be an even funnier way to do this. But Okay, so <clears throat> you show up on live map no matter where you are. Whether you're above ground, underground, hidden underwater... So that's why it's really important to always be watching live map to make sure that nobody is near you coming at you to start attacking you in PvP. It's also really important to use this as a tool to help find other players that might be targets. If, however, you swallow an invisibility potion and have the invisibility potion effect, you will not show up on live map. And live map is how most of the good players on the server find their PvP targets. This is a huge map and we would never find each other otherwise. So you have to use live map. Another way to use live map pretty well is if you are building a base out in the open and you're, you don't quite have a secure base yet, and maybe your roof is open, um, but you have a secure place where you can go to hang out, to hide out if you were to get attacked. You can use live map as an early warning system. If you keep your live map open, then you might know if Sabrolex comes really close to your faction land and he's, he's running towards your base before you actually see him. So it's an early warning system, and I suggest everyone use it. Now, I don't have a separate, separate computer or device, so I just use live map in a, a partitioned window. So I have a window that has live map, and I have a window that does Minecraft. Some other ways to use live map are to put live map on a dual monitor system where one shows Minecraft and the other shows live map. You can also put live map on a smartphone or on a tablet and view it that way. Okay, so next I wanted to talk about some of the other uses of live map. So live map will show you all the players who are currently online. Live map also shows you where factions are. If the faction has a set home, uh, you can just mouse over. The, that flag and it'll show you the name of the faction. If, for example, this faction doesn't have a home set, but you can still click on it and it'll tell you, oh, this is boot camp. Um, and, well, who's in boot camp? If I want to raid them, I would want to know who's in it and how much power they have. So I type slash F space show space boot camp. And it shows that they have four land, seven power, and 20 max power. So every single player gets 20 max power. 
So they have one player in the faction. Um, and it also means that if they died one more time, you lose four power every time you die. If they died one time, I would be able to claim their faction land. <clears throat> um, so some other uses of live map. There are different views. So we are in the main world, and we're looking at it from the normal view. But we can look at it from kind of a diagonal surface view, which gives you height perception, which is really interesting. So if you zoom in to this map, instead of seeing a straight down top view, you can actually see like a side view of the trees. You can see the height of these structures, so a wall. You can find um, the, the height depth sort of, of things like these flags. So this player right here, it looks like they have a little tower on the side. This faction shadows. Now from the top-down view, we would just see um, just a flag somewhere in the middle of their base. With the side view, we're able to see that that flag is right at the top of this tower here. So we can tell that their spawn location is the top of that tower, which is very useful if you want to raid a faction. Um, some other things you can tell are if someone is building a grinder, you'll be able to tell um, by the height above that land. So, for example, over here, this player has a really, really tall nether brick wall. Um, it looks like they have pretty high walls over their farm. I would, I would guess that to be a farm. But um, look how close that is to their faction land. If you're not able to lift into that, I'd be surprised. If you're not able to lift into that, you could definitely make a noob tower up the side here and then use a horse or use a swiftness potion and some fe feather falling boots to run and sprint and jump into that area. Now it looks like they probably have some doors in between so you probably can't get into their main base, but man, these guys have a lot of land claimed. And I wonder what this structure is over here. Maybe an iron golem spawner, maybe a spawner of some other sort, I'm not sure. So you, you, if you look up here, you can tell that from the top view, this would just look like a gray base. From the bottom view, you can see that there's actually a building underneath a large shadow. They might be doing this because it's a grinder up there. They might be doing it to cast a shadow over their base so that if they're outside working on it, they don't show up on live map, which is a useful tactic. Oh, that's a really cool looking base. It looks like sort of volcano-esque inside of a, a nice outer walled castle. Neato. Okay, um... So that's another aspect of live map. Here's a really cool one. You can actually get an underground view, a cave view of Minecraft. So generally green and yellow. Yellow is very, very high above ground level. Green is about ground level. And as you get deeper and deeper and deeper, it starts to get from a teal to a darker, darker blue. So we can use this to find cave systems. So this right here is a ravine. Um, and if we were to click on it, it would show you the location right up here in the corner. So as I click, or as I move my mouse over this area, it'll show you the, the location at ground level. So for example, ground is about here. If I dug straight down, I would be in that ravine. So I would go to location negative 141 and positive 1141. And if I dug straight down, I would end up in a ravine and I can mine out all the minerals in it which is a very useful way to mining. If you look at these weird um, right angle compartments and straight lines, this is what a mine shaft looks like underground, a naturally generated mine shaft. Um, <clears throat> these up here look like a little bit green, so they're probably at ground level, and I'm not positive, but if I were to take a guess, I would guess that these are uh, a natural village, a naturally spawned village. This down here is probably an underground um, mob spawner. And here we have some more mine shafts and mine shafts and lots and lots of mine shafts. It looks like this is a very area rich with lots of mine shafts. If you look up here, that's lots of green, lots of green arrows looking up. It might be tough to discern, but these are actually trees. Um, it's a tree forest, probably a jungle biome. Um, another useful th tool to this is to find people's underground bases. So, this looks like an item, or an iron golem spawner. Let's see if we can find some underground bases. Oh, here is a good one. <clears throat> okay, so this faction right here, Dead Fish, 
is right next to a faction called Chest. In Dead Fish, it doesn't look like they have any structure at all above their their claimed land. They're right next to a West 10 Stargate, um, but it looks like if you were to walk above their land, you probably wouldn't find anything. However, if you looked underneath their ground, and maybe if you dug down, maybe you can lift in, I don't know. Um, but if you dig down, they have a deep, deep base, base way down on the inside. And this goes almost all the way to bedrock, it looks like. Um, so that's their entire underground base, and we've found it just by using Live Map. Let's see, the next one I can show you, if, if you're a donator, you can also look at the end. And you can see if people are in the end. You can look in the nether, but... So the nether will give you a slight inclination of where certain things might be. So, for example, you can see these plus signs, these dark, dark plus signs. These are all um, nether fortresses, nether like bridges that go to nether fortresses. Um, if you have to look really carefully to, to be able to pick these things out. I'm just going to check out like a side view of the nether. So yeah, the nether fortress is pretty easy to see here. Look at those clearly defined bridges and walkways. And you want to search for those if you're looking for blaze rods because you can find a blaze spawner there. So that's it. Um, that's it for the live map video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and like my video if you learned anything. I appreciate it. Um, let me know, actually, in the comments if there are any other facets to Factions Minecraft that you'd really like to know about. Um, me and my faction and, and my truest factions, and a lot of my enemied factions who I have good rapport with, uh, know a lot about the server, we know a lot about Minecraft, and we're not perfect and we're learning new things every day, but we are happy to teach players um, anything that we know, except for maybe some of my trap ideas. I like to keep those secret. Um, but let me know what kind of videos you'd like me to make, what kind of tutorials would help out new players or even intermediate players or good players. Um, and, and I'll try to make a video in response to that. Thanks so much. I hope to see you soon.